families under extra financial holiday stress. Ariel Salk joins us in the studio tonight. We've been through almost two years of this pandemic, devastating hurricanes, and now the holidays are coming up. How's the Salvation Army stepping in to help those in need? So Carly, even though Christmas is months away, the Salvation Army wants to make sure families don't have to decide between paying bills and buying gifts for their children. So they're taking steps forward to making Christmas a little bit brighter. The Salvation Army organizes the Angel Tree program every year, so children all over the state have a special Christmas. And with so many more families in need of a helping hand, they're extending the deadline to apply. We still have so many people from the southern parishes in hotels and our evacuees from Ida and Baton Rouge. And with the long-lasting COVID shutdowns and the COVID furloughs, there's a huge need this year as there was last year. Child poverty in Louisiana is high at 26.8%, ranking second in the country. The Director of Public Affairs for the Louisiana Budget Project, Devante Lewis, says child poverty has been a problem long before the pandemic. We have had a pandemic um, for a long time, and that was the pandemic of poverty. And the nonprofit is working to reduce poverty in the state. The way to recover is to have good paying quality jobs, and that includes making sure that the floor is lifted up and that every Louisianian has a basic income that can they can survive on, and that includes raising the minimum wage. The Salvation Army wants to spread extra cheer this year and will add another 1,500 children to the Angel Tree program. Nobody wants to have to tell their children, no, you can't have something, especially not at Christmas time, or have to explain why there's nothing under the Christmas tree. So it has helped a lot of people. Throughout the season, the biggest need is for items for older children, 10 to 12 years old, and baby items. If you're unable to shop for these things, they say that monetary donations also help. Reporting live in the studio, Ariel Salk, NBC Local 33 News. Back to you, Carly. All right, Ariel, thank you so much. Well, coming up, why 